these are times of great change. And during times of great change, we need courage. Courage is a word that comes from the heart, from cœur, from like the French word for heart, right? So the courage of the heart. I'm going to talk today about heart-centered marketing and the power of the heart and the two, bringing these two together, overlapping them is such a beautiful, juicy space because we're bringing together the mysterious, the spiritual, the energetic with the practical of how we are sharing our hearts on this planet right now. I am many things. Who here feels like they are a multidimensional woman, right? <laughs> I am so many things. This is a time of really embracing the multidimensional nature of who we really are. At this pivotal time in the human story, when all of these amazing future tools of AI are rising to the surface, leaning into our humanity is going to be our saving grace. Leaning into the reality of the mystery of who we are, the multidimensional nature of who we are, the inability to box us in is going to be a saving grace because that is an essence of what it means to be a human. And I will even go as far to say it is an essence of what it means to be a woman. So this is a, we're talking about marketing, we're talking about messaging, but we're also talking about the womb and the heart and how are we engaging all of that into our visibility so that we are attracting abundance and the success that is attached to having a womb and a heart, right? This heart is attached to an infinite network of abundance. So what happens when we truly tap into the power of the heart? In my multidimensional nature, I am also a sound healer and a heart math educator. And the heart resonance, the resonance of our heart is so powerful, is so mysterious. The electromagnetic frequency of our heart is 5,000 times stronger than our brains. 5,000 times stronger. So we are coming out of an era that was really based on the intellect, based on how we're going to solve problems using our brains, using our willpower. And I dare to say that we are entering a phase where the rise of the feminine that we are feeling is a rise of the heart, a rise of the issues that we are facing that can only be solved in the heart. In a time of darkness, it's the way of the heart that needs to shine through. And God bless us all that we are all connected to that. Now we just talked about the electromagnetic transmission of the heart. That's also referred to as an aura. Every living cell, every living thing has an electromagnetic transmission. Now the aura, the electromagnetic transmission that we transmit is in essence it is, our, it is our magnetism and it is our radiance it is what brings people in towards us it is also where we are expressing the unexpressible number one is a nervous system that can handle success if we are going to rise as luminaries at this time as beacons at this time even just as business women who are gonna make that 10K month, make that 100K month, like to get to the success that we are destined to, the number one thing is a nervous system that can handle it. So in my nine month program, I go deeply into practices of how we work with the nervous system, bringing in ancient yogic practices, sound healing practices, all of the limbs of myself finally brought into the table to help people activate their destiny. How regulated is your nervous system? Because our nervous system is what is felt 
before we even speak. Okay, it is felt before we open our mouths before even the intention of our intellect comes in. So we can have all this intention in our minds of ABCD. However, if our nervous system isn't calibrated for that, it's not what's going to happen. It's not what's going to be felt. It's not the transmission we're going to give. And it's not going to supply the magnetism needed to really bring forth that creative destiny that we're here to serve. Who feels like they're ha they have this creative de destiny, right? One of my teachers said only 10% of the population, if that, achieve a creative destiny. It is not a given. I want to share with you a story. I worked for Marianne Williamson. Many of you probably know she's running for president again this round. She is an incredible luminary, incredibly dedicated to her message. I was part of a very small team. I worked as a content producer. And in my interview process, we looked at my astrology chart. I want to look at your blueprint. So looking at our blueprints, so important for us to really get to know that. And in the nine month program, I'm looking at those. We're looking through the gene keys, human design, our astrology, really understanding our unique blueprint and how that helps to give us a sense of guidance into what we're here to deliver. The second thing I learned from Mary Ann was a woman as amazing as Mary Ann had insecurity. I realized quickly that her team, the women that she kept close, we weren't there to just, you know, fix the practical stuff. We were there to help her deliver her message, to have courage, to be in her heart, to know someone had her back, you know, to be reminded of her luminosity when she felt dim, being able to see people, see their essence, see their light is my greatest joy because it reflects on me and it lights me up. So that's what I was doing with Marianne. I wasn't just producing content. I was helping her deliver a message. And that's what I'm doing for my clients is we're delivering a message. So photography, graphic design, spiritual, emotional support, it's all part of your delivery. Next, the ability to fully feel and to make others feel too. And like, what makes us human is our emotions. And emotions are magnetic. Emotions open the heart and help us to know that we are included in this human experience, that we are not alone in the ways that we feel. How are we using marketing to let people know that they are not alone, that they are included, that we are all together in this human experience. Let's go to the next slide. Three, the ability to show the world what you see. Now this one is a big gap for my clients. And we have this gap between like what's in our hearts, what's in our gut, what's on our mind, and we're not quite able to like put it out, it builds a frustration, okay? One of the biggest gaps that my clients reveal to me is that first, I'm not an artist, right? So oh, part of my work is aligning with that beautiful quote by Pablo Picasso, right? Everyone is born an artist and it's a process of remembering that. So it's this process of remembering our creativity, remembering our greatness, remembering our imagination, right? Because as children, what is the gift that we're given? We're given the gift of play, right? We can play. So I want to say, how do we bring that into our marketing? How do we bring that kind of lightheartedness, that kind of play, that kind of mm, ease so that we remember it? right? So that our clients really feel it. They learn something from us. They remember our name. They remember our offering, right? How do we bring that level of play and joy into our message? Okay. Because it's not just that it's more fun, which life should be and always can be a little more fun. 
but it actually it creates greater neurological understanding okay all right how we can use the skills the tools that we have to share right and this is where i want to just bring up not our, our our new friend right our new friend ai i'm going to bring up chat gpt on my computer who here has worked with chat gpt okay cool so most of you have a taste of it let's see how these future tools can help us um who wants to volunteer can i have a volunteer okay julie unmute yourself great so julie tell me a little bit about who you serve and how you serve them yeah, so I work with midlife feminine entrepreneurs, and a lot of them are teachers, healers, coaches, artists. They've spent a lifetime curating modalities, getting certifications, being trained to serve in a spiritual context to raise human consciousness. Mm, I love that. So I'm going to type that into chat GPT, and we're going to get a couple hooks for you. So who knows what a hook is? Yeah. So a hook is what makes us stop the scroll, right? Okay. Because in all this ancient future realm that we're in, our attention spans have dwindled. And so we need to meet people where they're at and kind of bring them in. And so I'm going to type into chat GPT, help us find some hooks for Julie right now. Um, and here we go so here chat gpt just has me spit out unlock your midlife magic embrace entrepreneurship with confidence and here it says appeal to their sense of empowerment and self-discovery during midlife while highlighting entrepreneurship these are amazing from midlife crisis to midlife triumph the entrepreneurial journey awaits reignite your passions midlife entrepreneurship for multi talented with wisdom multi talented women. Midlife magic transform your skills into profitable ventures okay the midlife makeover entrepreneurship edition who doesn't like a makeover. Um, <laughs> sisterhood of midlife entrepreneurs join our empowered Community. So here we are at this juncture as ancient women with the wisdom of our ancestors guiding us and bringing us to this very juncture in time with the ability and with the tools that ne they never imagined, right? So, you know, it is so important to embrace the tools that can help open up our own imagination, save us time and help make us money. So that's what, you know, I'm bringing into this program of like, how are we going to use AI and not just chat GPT, there's multiple programs that are doing things, everything from building, you can build an entire presentation based off of your niche statement, you know, that there's so much available to us. And really what it gives us is something to work with you know, and help us elevate ourselves as messengers to use the tools that we have and the ability to show the world what we see, okay? We are creatures of imagination. And the reality is that everything in your home, at least right now, this cup, this computer, this table, is the product of human imagination and human ingenuity. So how are we planting seeds of imagination for a future that we know is possible right the more beautiful world we know is possible as it's been so beautifully put okay because entrainment is the process of waveforms right that everything on our planet everything is a vibration and everything is coming through in a waveform so a waveform trains they match up with other waveforms it's why women's cycles will match up when we live together um it's just a process of physics 
and what entertains us and trains us, meaning that it joins us into that field of consciousness. How are we entertaining through our media so that we can entrain people into this better world we know is possible? There is so much invisible stuff happening that is controlling our consciousness, that is controlling our mood, that is controlling the way that we feel about ourselves, right? And so if we can demystify that and actually look at like the science of why this works, why that makes me feel this way, we can start to navigate more with it. Marketing is our collective mythology. This is where we are setting our value systems. This is where we are creating the kind of riverbanks for how we want people to act, how we want consciousness to flow. So marketing, you know, is not just about selling goods and services. It's about an entire cultural experience. And I'm here taking a stand to say that we can shift that cultural experience. We can make much more money being in our hearts, shifting that narrative, blowing up the spot of like, we've been hypnotized by this dark sorcerer. Let's reclaim our power and rise as a wave of women, as a wave of heart-centered entrepreneurs who are here to give and create this better world to the trust and to the faith if we are alive right now we were born for these times my invitation to all of us is to deepen our roots to really find the scaffolding the support that we need to be this mighty oak to bear the fruit that we know is possible and that we stand together as a forest, a forest of wisdom at this critical time on our planet. I don't believe in urgency, but I do believe that there is only now. That we have to be in business right now. And that business is a spiritual destiny. And that those of us who are here on this chat right now, who are entrepreneurs, who are just figuring it out, or maybe you have it all figured out, but we are on this path of business as a spiritual destiny. And our businesses have the potential to bring us massive wealth so that we can be stewards, so that we can be the stewards of land, we can be the stewards of resources, because God knows we need it. It is time for us to stop playing small, to know that each time one of us steps up into our light, claims our luminosity, that we are inspiring countless other people that we don't even know. So while the darkness can seem so vast and so scary, it is important to remember that it takes one match to light a room, right? We are greater beyond our wildest dreams. And we were born for these times. So thank you so much for the work you're doing, for the way you love, for the way you love yourself. It is my honor to be on this call with you. And it is my great honor to serve you in your journey. Oh my goodness, that was totally awesome. I had no idea what was coming to and I'm like, okay, existential, I love it. You know, your picture was like, oh my God, aura goddess. And oh. um, I'm just so glad I came because it was more than I thought. This, this key about show the world how you see it or however it was that you said, like, I'm gonna start crying on that one. Being a, photo a wildlife photographer, and like, I know my imagery creates a sense of reverence, which is my whole point in sharing them. And something about that is alchemically shifting me about marketing and social media. And lately I've been withholding it all. It's all felt too sacred. Mm -hmm. But that, I can do that. 
I don't know why it's making me so emotional, but there's something about that that strikes a chord very deep inside of me about showing the world what I see. Yeah. That is really potent medicine. It is. And it's what makes us the way showers. You know, Athena, it, Athena, I just wanted to jump in on with Julie because that was the one also. I mean, I wrote that one down. That struck me in a way like I've just never felt heard it or felt it the way I did when you said that. So, mm -hmm. Julie, I'm right there, right there with you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Blessings. Yes, thank you. Here we go. Yay. Here.